Aloha and welcome to Group Fitness Live. My name is Kelly. I'll lead you through your step and strength class today. Uh, just a quick note on some of the items that you will need for class. Some of them are very optional. In fact, most of it is. Um, but do you do need water? <laughs> By all means. And I definitely suggest a towel or something um, to keep you a little bit, sometimes the extra t-shirt, whatever, <laughs> to keep you a little bit dried off. Um, I have a step here, and if you don't have a step, that's okay. You can still do a lot of the work onto the floor, by all means. Um, it's still definitely an option, all right? Uh, but there is a little bit more impact into the class, so do keep that in mind. Um, I generally keep the step a little bit on the lower end because I'm not as tall. If you're a little bit taller, you could raise your step up. But do keep in mind, um, you know, how it feels on your knees, all right? So sometimes if you're feeling it too much into your joints, maybe bring your step down a little bit lower. Um, the other thing is that you'll want some weights for in between. So I generally like to have something a little bit heavier for chest and back. Ideally, I would have something heavier than what I do have, but um, I'm using like tens today, all right? Um, for medium, I have eights. And again, you're welcome to join me there sometimes, you know, just depending on, on how you're feeling and you want to get stronger. So by all means, don't be afraid of those larger weights. All right. They will make you stronger <laughs> by all means. And uh, then something a little bit lighter for shoulders. A lot of times I find uh, some things going overhead. I might want something a little bit lighter. So that is for me, that means like three to five. So again, it just depends on your body. Trust what it says. All right. So we're not doing super duper high repetitions, um, but we're kind of in the middle. All right. So if that helps you make some of those de decisions on how much weight you want to use. Um, by all means, um, just stay safe with your body, all right? So a lot of it is, you know, we're taking things a little bit slower, even on to the step with our drills, then we have the option to pick things up. But do make sure that you are watching your feet, getting all the way on the step and all the way off. <laughs> <laughs> so I see a lot of the like half on stuff, right? So you want to make sure that even when you're coming down, right, that you're kind of keeping that visual. All right, let's have fun. Let's get this movie movie <laughs> moving let's get moving right so it's been a it's been one of those days <laughs> but i appreciate you joining me at the end of your day too right so oh my goodness all right away we go let's rock it i got my wonder woman shirt on i'm ready are you ready all right start with that basic stepping up now we're open pretty much be changing our lead foot. A lot of our step is a little bit more drill based. For the warm up, it's just the more basic step stuff. Now you can add those arms in when you're ready. Anytime you start bringing those arms in, it adds that intensity. Sometimes it's a physical intensity, sometimes it's a mental one. All right, step me up. Good. Get that strong pull through your body. Breathing out. Reach. Yes. Good. Still paying attention to your exit onto the floor. To the corner. Now, some people like to really add that bounce, and I'm like, yeah, you go. All right. Just make sure we're not jarring into our joints. Yes. See how strong that is. Good job. Hamstrings. Good. Oh, you're ready to kick some backside today. Boom. All right, let's give it a front kick. I'm going to bring that across with an opposite punch. Ooh, I've been practicing too much soccer today, but we'll just go with that. <laughs> Flex that ankle. Get a little sweep. All right, side raise. T with your arms. Good, reaching out. Oh, so glad you joined the workout today. All right, back reach with your leg. Make sure that the extension is coming from your hip and not from the back. I'm going to add those arms pushing forward to help counterbalance. All right, three knees. Three, two, one. Switch it up. Repeater. Oh yeah, three, two, one, switch it up, 
show me again. Now, I could add a little hop there, you see that? But still bending through that knee to soften the landing. Sometimes it's all about that landing. All right, hamstring curls for three. Nice work. Do it again. Nice breath. Show me the kick. Three, two. Oh, that punch looks fierce. Do it again to the corner. Three, two. Yeah, yeah. Three side. Oh, nice work. Nice change on that transition. Good. Think more out to the side versus height there. Yes, good job. Push it back. Push it. Do it again. Looking good. All right. Right into a V step right here. Alternate. Good job. Now I'm going to add those jack arms right in today. Oh, yeah. Now, notice I'm making that more of a turn step. I know some of you were my steppers from back in the day, yeah? Let me hear you say, yeah! I know, Jim Miller was my favorite. All right, let's go. Up, up. Two jacks. Yes, two jacks. Good, that turn step, right foot, two jacks on the floor. Turn step, two jacks on the floor. Show me. Power those jacks. Oh yeah, I love the energy. I know I'm still happy to have the big step, but I don't have to worry so much about falling. All right, step up. Good, stay with your right foot. Stay with your right foot. Working back to the center. Now a little faster into your dribbles. Now, even though we're going faster, you're getting all the way on, all the way off. Otherwise, the little buzzer goes. Arr. There you go. Five, four, three. High knees up. Good work. Oh, I see him up there. Heels back. Cross in front. Cross in front. Good, another fifth. Ooh, we gotta finish up. Real quick, quick feet, go. Up, up, down, down. Oh, good job. Don't worry about that feet, just work your feet. 10 seconds, go for it. I see you. Four, three, two, walk it around. This bump. This pumps, it all works. All right, we are grabbing the big guys here. Right. We're gonna start with a leg squat. All right, so you can hold on to those weights. Right. You might want your mediums. You do what you wanna do today. Pressing down, down, and up. Good, squat it back. Other option might be hold them right here. But I find with these heavier ones, I like to put them down. But nice job with your form. You're breathing. Lower and lift. Lower and lift. Good job. Take your time. Nice job. Four. Three. Two. Good. Stay here. Switch them up. Push them up overhead. And down. Good. Show me. Those knuckles go up. Good job. Shoulders away from those ears. I just want to make sure I don't step over myself. Four. I lied. Here, now we got eight. Eight. How many? Six. You can turn them. Five. Four, three, two, and one. 
Good job. All right. You ready? We're going to combine those together. Squat to overhead press. You ready? I heard you. New. Let's do it. Down, up, reach, center. It's a little slower. Reach, center. Good job. What you got? Uh-huh. Bring it. Drop. Center. Reach. And down. Four more. Go. Breathe out. Stay fierce. Good job. Last one. I like that. All right, right foot stays forward for your next set. Going into a back row. Now, I'm gonna turn to the side, just so you can see it. One foot down, one foot back. Pull, pull, there you go, good. Think of these weights coming more to your hips. Really watch the alignment of the spine here. Even of your knees and your setup, you can get a little more for gravity. Good job. Exhale. Good. Nice bend in the elbows. A little bit close to the body. Think of maybe the bottom of that weight. Hits right towards your ribs or hips. Good job. Four. Three. Two. And one. Good. So if you get to that last eight to four and you're not like, Ooh. grab the bigger weight. I trust you. All right, we're gonna get fancy here. I think you're ready. I'm gonna show this from the front in case you wanna see it. And I'm gonna just drop one weight for right now and hold this here, okay? All right, so option, right? a lot of times what, actually what I like to do is take this toe kind of hooked onto the back of this chair, or back of my, back of my bench. We're here, lowering down with that one leg and return, right? Working on that balance. And up, right? So, some people like to take the leg with them, but you don't have to, right? Some people like to do both legs, right? But again, you just wanna watch you have a little bit of bend in that knee, and your spine stays long, right? You got two counts to go down, and two counts to go up, right? You don't wanna be too far back there. <laughs> also, you don't want too much of an arch in the back. Let's do it. Down and up. Alright, other option. Ooh, I was feeling in that one leg, but it's harder to balance. And up. Ah, you're doing so great. Up. One more time. Good job. Grab those weights. Uh-huh, you got another set of back. You gotta switch your sides. You gotta do both sides. You ready? Set it. And pull. Exhale. Good job. Again, got plenty of time. Good. Think of still separating and broadening your back. Good. But keep those elbows nice and close to your body. Good. Holding that spine in place. You breathing? You counting? 99? Good job, there's four. Three, two, and one. All right, good, and I'm just gonna drop one. Set it down carefully. Set it so I don't trip over it. Damn, Kelly, damn. All right, so again, options, right? You can go both legs. A little more deadlift style, or the single leg with me, either one. Set yourself up. Again, I just like to use the edge of the bench sometimes, a little bit of hook to help with the balance. Oh, good, I'm falling everywhere. Up. All right, let's slow down. Right, I'm going to touch that toe down on this side for a second. I'm going to drag it back. Oh, now I'm going to give it a try. And up. Ooh, good. Down, down, and up. Nice 
going. Keep it going. That happens. Okay, at least I'm, I'm, I'm glad it's just a battery issue. Okay, we got it. Sorry about that. Okay, don't worry. We'll go back. Got extra on that leg? You do good. Do the other side, right? Just come right with me. We'll make it work. Step knee up, tap down. Knee up, tap down. <laughs> Reminds me of the gym days. That was always happening. Somebody would always take the old battery and put it in the new box. And you're like, here we go, down. Tat down. Ain't nothing stopping us. You wanted a break, right? We'll come back harder, faster, and stronger. Go ahead, you gonna show me that pop up there? Boom. Now we call this the Super Mario move. Good job. Nice job. You got five more. Or sorry, four, three, two. All right, right here. Pop it up. Go ahead. See how I'm staying low? I'm stepping in that squat. Squat, exit. Squat, exit. Squat, exit, one more. Again, you can stay with this or add that box jump. Jump it up, jump it up. Good job, reach. Land quietly. Good job, those four, three, two, one, wide run. Step me up. You ready? Yeah, yeah. Let's go for it. Alright, we'll see if you remember this one. Squat it low. One, two, three. Squat it low. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Good. Knees up. One, two, three. Squat. Good job. Down low. Travel to the other end of your bench. Good job. One, two, three. One, two, three. Stay here. Knee repeater. 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 Good. I turned a little bit. 
forward to the corner, not all the way to the corner. Stay with me. Keep this leg bent. All right, tap that inside ankle. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Keep going, rip. Wrap it, wrap it. Step off. Knee, 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 yes. Oh, good, get a little hop. Hop, hop. Nice work. Good job. Knee, kick it. What? Oh, I'm going off string. Yeah. Awesome. Jog it up. Good, high knees, high knees, high knees, high knees. You ready? Double time, go. Quick legs. Quicker, quicker, higher. 10, 9, 8. What you got? What you got? Yes. Four, three, and you good. Two. Repeater. Go right in there. I told you we didn't make up that time. Stay here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Tap it. Looking good. How you feeling? Wrap. Rotate, rotate. Good, I'm still lifting up. For four, three, two, step off. Me. Me, yeah, I'm just watching out for my rise at least. <laughs> you can step a little closer. Good, you can add your hops. Hop. Hop. I like you on the edge of that bench. You look good. You feeling good? Kick it. Me. Kick. Hands up. Yes, keep your jukes up. Side push. Hua. 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 Two. Come back, come back. Little jog. Nice job. Good work, walk it around. Take that quick sip of water. Great job making up that time. All right. Oh, all this horizontal work. I'm gonna take this, my fives here. I'm actually gonna keep this where it is. All right. I only need one. All right, for these starters, I'm going right to the center of the bench, like a side lunge. All right, so as I come into that side lunge, really watch that we're not here. As cute as that looks. <laughs> All right, you're here. You're here holding it versus your knee or your back, right? So it might mean you don't come as deep, and that's okay. You want to hold it from the proper position. You want to feel that. I think right over the seam of my shorts are. All right. Let's pull. Oh, sorry. Go inside. Side. Good. Watch that swinging. Aligning through your shoulders. Looking good. Go ahead, really plug in to your ribs here. You're welcome to get low as long as you can hold that position. All right, otherwise a little more upright is fine. So you've got eight more. Eight, watch the swinging. Side. Good, now we turn and push away. Push. Push, good. As I'm pushing off just a little bit, flexing the ankle, rolling through my foot on the return. Using that glute. Good. Wrapping through the shoulder here. Good. Pulling that elbow back just slightly. Keeping it dropped. All right. Versus here. Eight of them. Count them. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. So strong. Three. Like the breathing. Two. One. Put them together. Out, pull, out, pull. 
like it. Pull. Open. Close. Pull. Open. Close. Pull. Four more. How many? So strong. Yes. Stay with it. You got this. One more. Oh, walk it on over. This is sometimes where you're like, I just want to kick something. It's all right. Punch something. Let out that inner tigress, tiger, whatever. Go. Yes. You ready? Open to the side. Side. Good job. Really control this belly, otherwise it starts to kind of go. Right? And again, I'm exaggerating. You don't look like that. It's that other person. Good. Get lower. Squeeze from the inside. Hold this girdle tight. Four. Three. Two. One. Good. Now push away. Push away. Push away. Good job. Down. Reach. Use your leg to reach versus your spine there. Good. Keep that lower back happy. Maybe just press this hand here. Know what's happening. So that hinge and extension comes from here versus back here. Good. You also don't even have to lift that leg. See that? Good. Or you can hold the arm. You got options. Three, two, one. Gotta put it together. Hold here just for a second. Let you catch it. Let's go. Open. Push away. Open. Push away. Nice control. I like it. Open. Pull. Pull. Focus in. Eight of them. Good. You got plenty of time to make every single repetition count to get you stronger. Yes. Good. Stay with it. You got four. job. All right, come back into that center. I kicked that four. All right, we're step here. Both feet on for today. Step back into your lunge. For starters, I'm going to do a bicep um, hammer curl. Okay, good. Alternating your lunge. You ready? Right foot goes first. Right. Now really watch the swinging with the arms here. They feel like things are starting to swing. It's okay to just do it without the weights or to do it with something a little bit lighter. And by swinging, I mean you're... Right. Control the movement. Good. I know, you're like, I'm lunging this whole time. So me For eight... Seven. Just want to make it count. Keeps you focused. Four. Three. Two. One. Good job. Stay here. Bend those knees. You can bring your legs together if you want to. Pull on up. Tricep kick back. Return. Now, other option, right? Again, sometimes it's better to take one foot off the bench, right? You can still come back to this. Either way, sometimes you can get a little lower here. Really watching this neck here so we're not here. So we gotta look, we gotta look to the side, yes? Again, watching the swinging, right? All right, we're not, we're not skiing. It's gotta go back, return. Back, with control. All right, really control 
the way back into your body. It stops right at your hip, right? If you go too far, that bicep will start to engage. All right, really want to work to the back side of the body. For four, three, two, one. Yes, good job. All right, you ready? This last set. Step back to your alternating lunges. We're going to start actually with your left foot. Front raise. Oh, there we go. Great control. Again, these don't even have to come up super high. You can take a little bend to your elbow. Again, watch the swinging. Especially sometimes when we have lighter weights. They start floating all over the place. <laughs> Like a really stabilizing. Then you mobilize. It brings your strength to a whole different level. Accuracy, integrity. So important in your strength. Let's go. Four, three, two, and one. Step back into that center. Great job. You ready for that last set? You're gonna open up your squat. A little bit of a plie. Bring those hands into the middle. Let's go, drop it down. Well, I knew that wasn't gonna be enough room. <laughs> down and up, right? So I needed that nice wide stance so I got room for my femur bone. Right? And I don't have to be super far out. Right? I don't have to have a big turnout. Right? I'm really watching those hips under the shoulders, right? So some of it's flexibility, and right? we create that balance, having some strength and some flexibility, right? I know, we're still working on it, we got it. We do it together, add the arms. Eight, seven, six, how many? Good job, four, three, two, one, just those arms. Seven, six, we got this, do it, four, three, two, one, put them up, set them down nicely, grab a sip of water, towel off, all right, this last set of step it, step it, step it. All right, we'll start with the jog up, jog down. Ready? Woo. Jog, jog. Up, up. Up, up. Good. Good. Run it up. Up, up. Knees up. Good work. Tap change. You got it. Nice work. Turn side, squat, two, three, four. Come to mama. Good. Switch. Good, we're turning it this way today. Down, two, three, four. Switch, down, two, three, four. Over. Good work. Now I can see you. Down, I'm gonna turn just a little bit so you can see me. Down, two, three, Two and two. Two. Down for two. Switch. All right, ceiling fan. We're going toe to toe today. Oh, I got you. All right, singles. Now, all the way into that squat. All the way into that squat. We'll go into that lunge in a second. I want to see the squat. Get it down there. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Little squats on top. Good job. Four, three, now to that lunge. Right leg. Push it out. Good. You keep going. I'm just going to turn a little bit. There you go. So you can see me. How 
How you doing? Hands up! Good, you can add those hops in there. Down, either to your shin or all the way to the bench. Either way. Eight, seven, six, five. Get low for four, three, two. Jog it on the floor. Ready? Right leg. Up, up. Up, up. Up, up. Up, up. Good job. Up, up. There you go. Now you can see my feet. Quicker. Oh. Hey, we call this the scramble. Can you go faster? Watch your step. <laughs> I'm so clever. Four, three, two, one. Little squats. Eight, seven, six, five, deeper. Step left. Down, down. Down, down. Good job. How you feeling? Finish strong. Quick go. Down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up. Now you'll find one foot more cooperative than the other. That's okay. That's part of the balance. That makes it human. Good. Pick it up. Pick it up. Oh! Just like that. Four. Three. Two. Check it on the floor. Hop forward. Run it back. Hop forward. Run it back. Hop forward. Run it back. Hop forward. See if you can go past your bench. Oh! Catch your balance. Go again. Can you get up and over? <laughs> One more. Little squats. How are you doing? Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Tap, 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 tap. Jog. Tap, 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 tap. Four, three, two, one. Great job. So proud of you. Ah. We're not playing around today. <laughs> doing great, doing great. Got that quick sip of water. We're going to hop right back in. Now I like to take my towel. You could take your yoga mat even over your bench if you need to. Sorry, trying not to read the microphone. Uh, some of it, is the, the fan over there is breathing for me too. All right, come on out onto your knees. Again, you can always add padding. Now some people like to do their push-ups different ways. This is just how I like to do mine so that I feel like I'm really getting the strength into my chest and my core and I'm not launching into my shoulders, all right? So I'm gonna use my hands on the side and then pretty much as soon as my chest taps the bench, I can go right back up. And that works for me, all right? You find what works for you. A lot of people like their hands wider and lengthwise along the bench like so, all right? Others like to be here. That works too. Down and up. Good. So you find your position. You can start without me. You got him? Yes. Good work. Count them out. There's eight. Seven. Pump it. Watch 
Watch those elbows aren't overlocking. Core is strong. Three, two, and one. Good job. Switch it around. Use your bum. <laughs> it's your break dance move for the day. Hands can stay here if you like. Otherwise, coming back behind you, however it helps you balance. Into that B sit. Can't come out. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good job. Press that back down. I'm gonna stand on up. Ooh, sometimes that's the workout. Getting down and up. All right, I'm gonna grab these smaller weights. Sweating all over this thing today. Ooh, careful on the way down there. That's where sometimes it's nice to use the riser so it's not so far away. Especially if you're taller. Alright, head comes all the way down. For this first round, I'm gonna really set my feet so I feel really balanced. Hands here. Alright, good. Shoulders down. Alright, good. Planting my feet. Let's start with a flight, and it's just gonna go one arm at a time. So start with your right arm. Down, center, cut, left, and center. Sometimes you're like, wait, whoa. You get used to those heavy weights, you switch to something lighter, and you're like, whoa, I was expecting something else. It really works for your core here. Watch, if my arm goes to the side, it kind of wants, the whole body wants to go with it, right? So come back and center strong. Open, return. Open, return. Good. Stay out so much of the shoulder. Really bring those weights down a little bit if you need to to compensate. Stay in your chest. Good job. There's four. Three. Two. One. Now hold both weights here. Set those shoulders. Let's keep our head down for this first round. All right. Bring your right leg up. Alternate your toe taps. Tap, tap. And I'm just using this to kind of help park my shoulders down. You don't have to use them, or you can try to park them right here. But you don't even have to point your toes. Make sure you point your ankle. Try pointing and flexing one. Oh, four, three, two. Send them away. Good, now I'm gonna start taking these weights a little further over my head really work a little harder to keep those ribs down. They're going to want to pop up. Keep the shoulders down, back your ribs down. Good job. Through the legs. Ah, yes. Good scissor for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Knees together. Roll back down. Bring these weights in just for a moment. And park my feet back down. Deep breath. Reach them back up. All right, now we're gonna roll part way up. So nod your head, maybe look at your weights first. Really plant your shoulders down. We lift and roll. And I'm gonna just tap them onto my legs and roll back down. Up, tap, back down. Good job, good job. All right, now we're gonna roll part way back. Finish up with these abdominals. Again, feet are nice and solid onto your floor. I'm gonna start with these hands kind of behind my head. I'm gonna drop this right shoulder, rolling back. And I'm open, so you can see that, yeah? Now to roll back up, I'm gonna take this hand maybe with me to lead. See that? Come back. Other side. I'm going to twist open first. Roll the own. Up that elbow a little bit. Yeah, there you go. Good. Off the edge. 
And then, oh my god, I always gotta take a second to think about it. <laughs> Keep that focus, right? If you have to think about it, that's probably a good exercise for you because then you're like, oh, I think, right? So it's those exercises that are easy that we like to do. It's the hard ones that we're like, oh. That's what we do with them together. <laughs> Roll back down, reach, and scoop and up. Oh, there we go. Down. I know, I make a funny face when I do that because it's hard. Oh, all oh, right. It's easy to go down quick. You're going to come up quickly, yeah? Good job. All right, take your legs with you. Watch your head. Legs can come on in. And I'm gonna do a couple flexing points, roll through the ankles. Go ahead and let that right leg drop down, left leg can cross over. So it's just a nice big stretch here. Otherwise you're welcome to reach through the center, grab onto the back of the leg. Sometimes just this stretch feels really good. You're welcome to stay here. I like to do this one with my leg like up on the edge of the bed or the edge of the couch or chair. I don't have a couch, but I'm the edge of the chair. That doesn't surprise you at all, right? There's no room for dancing if I have a couch. Oh boy, you ready for this one? Oh, hamstrings. So first, I'm gonna let this hip flexor on the left side relax. Let your butt kind of touch all the way down. You saw that difference? I know I'm not the only one tight there. Okay, good stuff. Lifting this up. I'm not worried about straightening my leg. In fact, it's gonna be over hyperextend in that knee. But it does help sometimes to flex your ankle a little bit. Let your leg rest into your hand. Or you use your towel. But then gradually reach it. Okay. But if I just let go and grab onto my leg and grip, this doesn't have a chance to really stretch. And right, let this hip sink down. Especially after all that stepping. All right, let's go ahead and bend the knee. Watch your step though. You don't roll all the way off. Hands can come down for balance on that one. Reach through the other way, extend the leg nice and long. Reach. Good, chop your hips. Deep breath, good. Gradually increase that stretch. So one can be lengthening the leg, one can be lengthening Hip. Make sure one that they're both happy. <laughs> Bend through the knee, cross over. Woo. I gotta scooch back onto the bench there a little bit. Oh, this stretching is so important. This finally like felt that little. Ah, All right, bring your knees in. A nice way to roll up. You can also, so you can either rock up like this, so you can be a rocker, or you can be a roller. Watch the roll. Right? Either way is awesome. It's both rocking and rolling, right? Heels together, toes together. Oh, take a little wobble side. Oh, hello. I can feel my hip was tight there. It was talking to the bench. <laughs> Good. Rise on up. Take that nice big stretch. And again, let's take this chest up just slightly looking up. <sighs> right? Stretch the eyeballs to look up. Anything that gets us out of this position is good, right? So lifting up, drop the shoulders. Bring the legs in. You can use the bench on the back side. Stretch those hands up and overhead. <sighs> and then give yourself a little pat on the back. You crushed it today. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Join me again soon. Aloha and good evening from Maui.
Yay. Oh, I wondered if that was you. Hi, Louise. <laughs> you, hi. Great to, it's great to see you on here. Oh, hi. Aloha, guys. Anybody else, too? Bye.